Hey guys, here's a tutorial about ZBrush 2019 and the feature Snapshot 3D. I'll show you a simple example so that you can see how to use this feature. First I press the comma key and open the project template, I use the Dynamesh Sphere. Then I disable the perspective mode because with the snapshot we are going to project 2D images into 3D. The first thing I will do is to press the comma key again and open the spotlight and here you can see we have a couple of templates that contains alphas. So let's open this one here and then I press the Z key to open the spotlight, this radial user interface and the spotlight can be moved when you drag this inner ring and it can be snapped to certain points of the current tool, for example the center or the mesh mid edge. But what we want to do is to add an alpha to this spotlight and create a mesh from this alpha. So I click onto an alpha and select it and now you can drag this around using the spotlight. Ok, now be careful. The spotlight can be snapped to this certain points of the mesh, but not the alpha. So I'll go ahead and set the center of the spotlight to the center of the alpha. And then I can snap the spotlight and the alpha, for example, to the center of the mesh. Ok, now I want to increase the size of the alpha, so I drag this icon here and move the wheel to the right. And the next step is to create a mesh from this alpha. And to do this, I click the spotlight 3D icon. On the right side you can see that there is a new subtool created and to see this fully I disable the spotlight and the alphas by pressing shift and set. Here it is and it has the same extent as the sphere which was the active subtool when we created this mesh. Ok, what we can do now is to delete the sphere, we don't need it anymore. And the next step is to create a new subtool and use live boolean mode to combine it with the first one. So I press shift and Z to open the alphas again. Then I press the Z key to open the spotlight and the previous alpha is still in the spotlight. Now we could go ahead and rescale it and then move it back to the original position in the template. But an alternative way to use an alpha, but to keep it in this grid of alphas, is to select and then duplicate it by pressing this icon here in the spotlight. Now you can move the duplicated alpha around, use it and when you don't need it anymore you just delete it. Ok, I'm using this one now, I drag it to the center and snap it. Then I hold the shift key and move it upwards along an axis, like so. And then I increase the size in vertical direction by using this icon. And now I'm going to create a new subtool by pressing the snapshot 3D icon, but that's important, you have to press the Alt key. Ok, now the new subtool is created and I want to subtract this from the first one. To see this subtraction in a live mode, you have to enable live boolean, which I already had, you find this here in the toolbar. And then you can press Shift and Z to hide the alphas and the spotlight and you can see the mesh fully. If you like you can use the gizmo now to move, rotate or scale the mesh and then you can directly see the live boolean result. Ok, the last thing that I want to show you is to combine alphas inside of the spotlight. So I press shift and Z to open the alphas again and then Z to open the spotlight. Now I delete the previous alpha and then I select a new one. I drag this out and then I scale it up and center it to the mesh. But now I go ahead and select a new alpha which will be added to the spotlight as well. Now we have two alphas in the spotlight. I scale and position the new one. And after that I will create a new alpha by executing a boolean operation for these alphas in the spotlight. Now I set the position of the new alpha and what I'm going to do now is I will click this union icon, but I don't want to union, I want to subtract, so I press the alt key as well and you can see the result when you delete the active alpha. Ok, now we created a new alpha that we can again use for example to subtract from the mesh.
Ok, the operation is completed, but I have to increase the size a bit in that direction. And here is the live boolean result for this alpha, really nice. So that's it for this snapshot 3D tutorial, it's a really nice feature. Play around with it, it takes some time to get used to it, but you will see it's great. You can also add your own alphas to a spotlight, but I will cover this in a next tutorial. If you like my channel, then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned, support me as my patron if you like. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you on JNM.